Larry Ledoux with my company Sustainable Solutions. We're here volunteering for SunFest, and SunFest is a group uh, that belongs with uh, SIA and also part of COSIA, and there's a lot of vendors here, both uh, local and international, that are doing solar installs and solar information, products, services. Uh, my name is Monique Hannes. I'm spokesperson for the Solar Energy Industries Association. And uh, we decided to increase our presence here at the uh, Democratic National Convention um, to raise awareness of the availability of solar now. Solar is available now, and the U.S. has some of the greatest uh, solar resources in the world. Um, so it's a huge untapped uh, potential. Um, what people don't realize is that the uh, technology has grown tremendously worldwide. The U.S. is now the fourth largest market, um, but others are ahead of us because of policy and incentives that they have put in place. Um, you know, here at the convention, uh, you've really seen energy has really been elevated to a number two or number three issue for the country. Um, it's not just the cost of energy, which, you know, people see that at the pump. That's the most visible um, sort of reminder of the cost of energy, but it's really the concern of our dependence on fossil fuels and foreign sources. And so we're hearing a lot about uh, the need for more um, energy security in this country, um, energy independence in this country, and clean energy and renewable energy. And so that has really uh, been elevated in this year, which is another reason why we felt we needed to be here. And probably one of the other biggest concerns that you're hearing again here at the convention is that the fact that for eight years we have delayed addressing climate change. And we know that with a new administration, we are, as a country, we are going to have to deal with addressing climate change um, along with our, our global partners, our, the other countries who are ahead of us, frankly, on the issue. So uh, solar is a huge uh, part of the solution to addressing climate change. It's a 175-watt uh, um, photovoltaic panel, also called a PV panel, and it has enough power, as you can see, to, uh, to power this fan. <laughs> We're just keeping me cool. <laughs> okay, so these are uh, evacuated tubes. This is a solar water heating system. They can also be used for solar space heating and cooling in your home. Um, believe it or not, you can use solar uh, power to cool your home. Um, you can connect it to what's called a uh, um, absorption chiller, which actually uh, creates air conditioning. This is another form of a solar uh, water heating collector system. So there's four collectors that are heating uh, water. Uh, in some cases it could be a refrigerant that it's, uh, it's warming up because in those uh, states where you do have cooler weather you don't want the water to freeze. Um, and then in this case it's uh, running a boiler system. One of the biggest issues with solar is it still remains one of the more expensive energy sources, but it's the cleanest source, and uh, we are trying to uh, get the word out uh, that this solar uh, is, um, is an economic engine for this country. It creates jobs, it creates, uh, it puts uh, construction workers back to work, electricians, plumbers, um, and it's been a huge growth industry in the last year, and in fact, uh, manufacturing of solar equipment in the U.S. increased 74% in 2007. So there's a huge hubbub of activity going on, and as that scales up, that's going to bring the cost down. And in fact, the industry estimates that the cost will be at parity in about eight years, so around 2016. Uh, so another really important innovation that's occurred in the last couple of years is financing for installing solar. And uh, we have a company here, uh, Sun Edison, who's actually been the leader in uh, developing solar projects, typically larger scale for uh, commercial properties on top of Whole Foods and, and other large buildings. Um, but the concern is, you know, the upfront cost is what's held people back from installing solar because when you install solar, your fuel source is free, the sun is free, the equipment's expensive, and in a way you're paying upfront for 20, 25 years of worth of power. Um, and that's sometimes uh, a challenge for folks. But if you finance it, uh, usually the, whether you're a homeowner and you put it into your mortgage, you get a home equity line, or you find a local company that'll finance it, the uh, differential between the additional cost in your mortgage is more than offset by the uh, lower power bills you're going to have, electricity, or it could be displacing natural gas. Um, and that 
in that case, you're break even on day one with your cash flow. And that's what a number of companies have discovered, and they're putting uh, solar on the tops of fleets of their buildings. These are companies that are very astute, uh, Walmart, Best Buy, Macy's, Safeways, Whole Foods, and others uh, that are have done energy efficiency projects first, which we always recommend. You know, make sure you're insulating well and you have good lighting systems and you have controlled temperature systems. Um, and then uh, have your own energy generation right on your roof, right where you use it. Really, any individual American can be an energy patriot. You can put solar on your roof. You can use it to create your own electricity. You can use it to heat your water. You can actually use it for heating and cooling of your home.